how to make a gradient circle and use graphic design tips in Photoscape X. I got a question today from one of my uh, subscribers and they wanted to know, hey, I'm working on some of this graphic design stuff in Photoscape X. How do I do it? How do I make it work? Well, today I'm going to show you guys how to do that. Um, and it's an interesting process. It's an interesting process of learning all the ins and outs and tricks of Photoscape X. But I've tasked it upon myself as someone who believes Photoscape X to be the best free photo editing software on the planet for anyone running PC or Mac. So what we're going to do is we're going to hop over and uh, do that gradient change. His question was, hey, I'm working on this. Uh, I want to do a circle. It's going to have white on one side. It's going to gradient over to opacity or to transparency, um, you know, in there. So here we go. Uh, we're going to just start. Uh, we're going to just do a white circle. So we've gone uh, in the editor tab, going over here to insert. We hit insert. Then down here, you have a row of different things you can do, anything from an arrow to a square to a circle. So we're going to do this circle, and we selected white as our circle, which is good. One thing that's cool is that if you keep it, uh, if you look here, you can get it to where it says, and actually I can build, do it on this side as well. Uh, you can get it to where it shows if you are at a perfect circle. So that's kind of a neat little thing in there. So you get that. All right, but he wants it to go from white to a gradient opacity. Here's how you do that. Uh, so over here you have gradient. So you have solid color pattern. You have uh, some, uh, what is they actually call it this? Uh, blurred texture. Okay. Interesting that that's what they call it. But then you have gradient on the side, which is what most people hop over to if they want to add a flare to what they're doing. So we're going to go over here, select white. And then over here as your second color, what's awesome is that down here, uh, of course, you can select whatever color you want, but down here you have an opacity slider. And right now it shows opacity at 100%, which means it is 100% superimposed over whatever layers are uh, behind it. But if you slide that down, you can slide it down to zero. Now, what's interesting is even at a zero opacity, that color is still coming through a little bit, which is kind of interesting. Um, what I would do is I would select them both at, at white. And what's also interesting, you guys, what's also interesting is this is actually where I found the kind of easter egg in the new update that i haven't been able to you know i went through the update but there's a few things that i found in here check this out when you get over to the opacity it starts showing you the difference between the two the difference between the sliders and stuff i think that's so cool and interesting that they do that um and i think it's a fun little easter egg info escape x if you've used it for a long time you probably haven't found this but if you have kudos to you all right so we slide that down to zero opacity now let's say you're still not happy with it you say no i want to go to like zero well here's the thing on the gradient um you have that and then you have your second color then over here you have the look and this is where you can go and you can shift how it looks so if you want it like that that's pretty good uh, but if you wanted it to be a bit more gradual you have that one and the thing is you just have to look around and see what is available and what you're wanting that end result to look like. So there's enough there that I think you'll probably find something you're happy with. And what's also really neat, um, there is a reverse button, which is pretty quick and easy. There is a rotate button to rotate it in different directions, which is nice. There is a hue. Uh, okay, hue doesn't really help you in this situation. Saturation, scale. Um, so that would be that adjustment. You can change the scale of it. So really, you have a lot of customization there to give you what you're wanting. Then you have an X and Y, which actually moves that pattern. So you figure out um, you know, what color you want, what transparency you want it at, and then over here, that's where you get your general look of how it's gonna fade across, and then you can change how big does that fade look, and exactly where does it happen, and the rotation, the angle of which it happens. So that is just a huge amount of functionality there. And there's a few other things. There is linear blur, which is what we're doing right now. Radial blur, which is going from the center. Uh, uh, angular blur. Uh, so that's going to be just rotating around, which looks pretty neat. And then there is reflectant bl uh, gradient. Cool. So that's just going to give you a reflection off of it. <clears throat> all right. So uh, with that all being noted, you have a restore to default if you wanted to do that. One thing that I would encourage you to do if you think you're going to do this a lot, 
definitely go into favorites and select something. Like I have one of my favorites in here. Um, and my favorite there is what I use for text a lot. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of things in there that I'd encourage you guys to take a close look at. Uh, the graphic features in Photoscape X are really good for, of course, being a free software. Uh, but yeah, if you were having some struggles with that, that's how you could do it. Um, if you want to do this and not on like an image like this, <clears throat> basically you could just go and put it into a new uh, project. So go over here to new. You could start. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. I need some water. Um, start totally transparent. And then you can just go into insert like we did before. Grab that. Looks good. It still actually holds that gradient that we had set on it before. And that's where you can make more of those adjustments, more of those changes. So hopefully this was helpful for you guys. And uh, when you are exporting, you can definitely export as a PNG file. That's what I would recommend. So you save any of that opacity in there. Uh, but nonetheless, thank you guys so much for watching. Feel free to like this video if it was helpful for you. Comment if you have any questions or anything else you'd like me to explore in Photoscape X or other software. Um, and then also I'd encourage you guys uh, definitely to look at the Photoscape X playlist, which is going to help you see more of what you can do in Photoscape X. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.